Welcome to the wonderful world of Amalur. I am still Pyrotoys and this is still the Fate Sworn DLC. We are at one of the last missions, the Crucible, where we will find the Armor of Chaos. And we got a nice bunch of Chaos Portals all laid out for us. Since it's five places, I think we are looking at a complete set, not a mage set, which means uh, finesse or strength, since they have separate chest and leg pieces. So let's head out there, let's smash some portals. First stop, Barak Mar in the frozen north. High up into the mountains we find old Arathi ruins covered in ice and frost. With five, four rifts and one portal, we will dive deep into the realms of chaos. Looks like I found Amalur's version of Frostmourne in the game. Your Charon. But we better stick to our demon blade. Let's have a few seconds to look around. The world building, as always, is absolutely fantastic. It looks so amazing. And the enemies and the encounters in this, well, final phase of the DLC, they're really hard. I to use potions and fate potions and do everything just to survive. I'm this close to switching back to my self-crafted armor and leaving this gorgeous lion set behind. With all four rifts closed, it is now time to advance into the portal. What will we find inside? The same as everywhere else? No, even the Chaos Realm is frozen over in this place. So it's more like a parallel dimension than an entirely separate world. Good to know. Let's clean house. And the grand finale of the first... What was it? Chaos Portal! Good grief, I've been so long in here. It's such an extensive dungeon. And I think once you got all the resources you need, you know, the Chaos Soul Gems and enough Chaos Essence, there's really absolutely no point in exploring all this. I'd say everything else up here is optional. Get in, take what you need, get out. Let's see what we get to get out. Punching the node a bit. in cave of throw. We have embarked on a dangerous journey. Stronger chaos weapons. I wonder if this goes up all the way to 25 and when there will be actually improvements. Especially, let's talk about this for a bit. Playing as a mage in the Fate Zone DLC is abysmal. You have to use your weapon to break down the chaos armor. This spawn a chaos damage zone when landing a spell, first it procs once every minute. And then the enemies just move out. There's, there's no reason for them to stay inside. So if it were like a AOE effect that would then stick a sticking dot on all the surrounding enemies, that would be great. Or maybe just early in the quest, let them have some sort of... Not really a necklace. Necklace is too important. But say a ring. A ring, even if it's 10% of all magic damage converts to chaos damage. That would be great. You could still use your mage. Because as a mage, normally what you use, you use your alpha strike. And that's the meteoric. That's the one I always use as first. Because it can't be interrupted. And it staggers the enemy. And after that, you can one or two extra attacks. The shield with the four bubbles... For the four orbs running around you, that's just, you know, 
if enemies get too close, if you're already in the late phase and they're still swarming you and you haven't really managed to just glass cannon wipe them out. So, I can understand it's, it's, it's really, really fast frustrating. The same probably applies to dagger users. Their damage is a bit lower. They can evade, beam around, that sort of thing. But I think they still have a problem because I don't see backstepping really working on most of these enemies. A, they are in great cluster groups, so sneaking even in with the invisible with a smoke bomb, it works on maximum one enemy. After that, you are still surrounded by eight others and you have to fight your way through. I'd really say the build I choose, the warrior, sorcerer, let's see, oh what was it, battle mage, that's the word. The Battle Mage is probably the easiest and most suitable way to get through the entire DLC. Okay, let's continue. Also, not a really big fan of everything respawning once you come out of the portal. Everything is back again. So after you fought your way in, you have to fight your way out. That's bad. Real bad. Oh, the vendor of Heron Shaw here, he sells Primo Evan Root, which means I don't have to go back to the Teeth of Neros to craft these nice potions. Let me see, I think I got a great... It wasn't a refuge one, it gives you plus evasion, so I think it's just a percentage chance. Yeah, there it is. Cataclysm. 50% evasion chance, and since you get absolutely swarmed in the encounters in this DLC, I think it's really great, you know, even in the short run, to just chuck a potion and get a chance to throw a punch or two. And now we find ourselves at the foot of the great Mithran Citadel, all the way up in the northeast corner of the world. And we will fearlessly enter it and slay everyone in our way. And probably climb a lot of stairs, if I'm any judge. Let's have a look over the main hall. Enjoy a bit of scenery. Yes, burning enemies. Evil little traps and little minions who need to die. After climbing every horrible monster and critter filled floor of the citadel, it is now time to take a leap of faith into the realm of chaos. This takes a while. Oh no, there is no water, we will die. Let us see what's the shortest route. I don't go around this time, I just. Up to the end, smash a few heads in, and let's get out. Alright, so it's not always possible to just, you know, skip a lot of the stuff and run to the end. So in the end, I just... I liked it. That's it. Took my boots in the hand, and just went, yeah, out of here and right into the central corner, which as always holds a few Niskaru which permanently stun locked me because I'm an idiot and didn't activate my Relentless Assault beforehand. And then once we are done with everything, getting rid of the Chaos Armor, the real fun begins. Let's see, remove a few of the this Karo Horoxys Armor. And now with the Adrenaline Surge, there's just one thing left to do. Carnage and a Reckoning like never seen before. I will smite thee mightily from this end of the universe to the end of the hells. Come on, let's get your ass whooped. You know you want it. You know that neck extension doesn't look good. You might want to see a therapist about it. Oh no, oh no, I'm too slow. I don't get it. No execution for us today. And the bad thing about this, everything else stands up with just one more HP. And they even regenerate Chaos Armor. That's a new one to me. Never had an enemy survive long enough. Which made this a rather close one. 
Sativa road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did I even bother looting this corpse? Let's just get out of here and see how much has respawned in the Citadel and what awaits me. Oh, yay, magic node. Yay. Finally, an enemy who can't run out of it. Also, I never got no pop-up about anything about a Chaos Armor. Probably we just collect pieces and once we bring them back, we can choose Warrior, Mage or Rogue. Which means, safe's coming! And we got an increase in 3% resistance. Ooh, fascinating. Off to the next. Number three, the tower ruins. This one has a few lever puzzles where you have to open the singular towers so you can get inside. I wonder, I already did open everyone because I was just running through and yes, they're still open, so I don't have to do that. That's nice. Let's clear it up. So running through the third place, I do have to say they seem to get progressively easier the further south we go, which is... One way, yes, this is the starting area and it gets harder as more you get up, but since you're pretty much 40 already here, you're already overpowered. I just can't imagine anyone speedrunning this game to this extent that he arrives down here with level 15. And so you're up here, here. You probably have done some exploring, side questing, so you already know most of these places. The only place I haven't found is this one here at the south, and probably just because it doesn't trigger unless you can get inside wherever this is. And so you start heading from north to the south, and this was the hardest. This was pretty hard, a lot of enemies, and this was just five open fields with a bit of smack laid down. And the Chaos Portal probably also won't be too bad, except for the obligatory Horaxi Kachichokala, whatever this creature is named, down here in the south. And the three Neskaru Bloodhunters around him. Well, even the final room got easier. This time it was our Horinox, that's what they're called. One is Kara Horinox and only two Blood Warriors instead of three. Not much difference in difficulty, but it's there. And to think that the first, the something something more up in the frozen north, it had a Horrox guarding the portal, so before you even could enter the demon realm, you had to smack down one of those. So, I think there's nothing really that's different from this one. We just smack and we whack. A bit of a You Are Hero music. And we're out. Oh, it was all a dream. Do we get surprised by someone? Somebody telling us who? And thrall number five does nothing. I also haven't really seen any change. Can I really re-enter it? Security safe. Oh yes, I can enter. I get back. And out again, so I guess if I really wanted to clean it up, get some more resources, I can just come back. I wonder if they stay open even after the quest, because I can't remember that any of those stayed open up until now, after I've done the quests. Hmm, curious. So I wanted to ask her about something and so I say my chaos weapons are too weak. Chaos weapons have the potential to become incredibly powerful, but this potential is hindered by the presence of chaos portals. The more chaos portals you close, but the weapon's power won't increase on its own, even if you close a chaos portal. That's the only way to... I see you're worried. Don't be. 
No matter how many times you salvage your weapon, you will always retain the weapons necessary. Every time you close, don't want to get your hands dirty. Alright, let's see. I think I get another great sword, so I can compare the ones I already have. Alright, let's make two. And then some small chaos Maybe blades. Maybe can help you. Farewell. After all, I now got enough finesse to wield every finesse armor. Oh yeah, I forged myself another thunder blade as a replacement for my old. Because I think I rather stack the plus lightning because those are support enchantments and support enchantments are for all weapon types. So even if you don't use this weapon, if you just have it equipped and use the thunder staff, you get the bonus from the sword and also it's with casting spells. And I really like my area of effect thunder spell but they do get stronger it's not that great this one was i think two chaos portals closed 169 no yeah 69 96 you know when you, the last two numbers and then you get just going you had to read good well uh, and we have 186. So, yeah, even the chaos base damage is higher. I think here it's 56, but I also got the 15% chaos damage, which apparently already gets factored in. So technically this does a little bit less damage, just because fire damage is so much higher. And... That's about it. The fire damage. And this is lightning damage. Lightning damage is lower, even though both are flawless enchantments. So, let's enjoy our new sword and get smashing. And now we are at the decayed estate. An old Arathi noble house or something, I think. And there's something more. There's the final lore stone, and it appears the final item for the Chaos Mage set. Since normally I only get attacked around these cursed items. Yes, over there. Let's get this one first. Nope. Where is it? Come on, give it to me. I know you're hiding here somewhere. All right, let's go with the story. Although Lyria is my patron, I have no need for a divine protector. I am my own protector. My knives are my prayers and I worship with them daily. Yet there is a part of me that weeps at the defacement of this holy shrine, this beacon on a hill, the great temple of Mitharu. You studied there once, did you not? I visited you in your year of silence, and we sat in the Willow Garden, and I read to you poems from the Wharfmaster's Child. And though you could not speak, you could laugh. Now the temple is a ruin, and they say I have no soul. It really sounds like our Tuckle Alpha friend from the main story, and I couldn't find any sarcophagus or anything where I might get the last chaos thingy. Well, maybe they were just, you know, guarding the lowstone. Hmm. Looks like chaos realm number. Well, let's order them from the bottom up. So this should be the second chaos realm. It's the fourth for us. It doesn't have a Horexi and the Skaru. Just a few hunters and those little critters. Chaos Banelings. It's also rather small. Hmm. I wonder what's the first one will be. Just enter, note, out. Done. Alright. I'm not sure I was already once here and I couldn't open the effigy. But now that I had three or four pieces, I was able to. I was wondering once I got attacked at the last graveyard. Why there was no loot that I remembered this place. So I went back here and this time I went here and that spawned and I got the final piece of the puzzle. 
well, at least for my Chaos Puzzle, which means I'm pretty sure we got almost everything that this game has to do, or has to offer in terms of new items. We got Chaos Weapons, Chaos Potions, Chaos Gems. We got all the great armors for Warriors, the one I'm wearing, plus the one that you get, you can buy. Same for Mage. There's the Abyssal, the Senior, the Executor Armor for the Sneakies. And something with Ice Wolves for the Archers. So we are pretty much set, so let's head up to the last portal and find what we can find. See, see what we can find. Okay, so this really was the first one where we were supposed to go, because there were only two rifts and it's a rather unspectacular portal. Upside's the road and there's a little grove here. Just a lost time. Lost time guarding eight. Ooh, it's getting late again. Rain shutting down. Good night, sweet prince. Good night. Well, let's see how fast we can do this. And in the fifth final room, first portal, our good old friend, the Horinox, gets dismantled once again. Poor little creature. The nice thing about being max level is no more quick time events. Just enjoying the cinematic. Let's take care of the last note. Collect our final piece of armor, which actually turns up in your inventory. I had a small look. And with this, we are back to our forge mummy. And then she will tell us, yeah, this was your last task I send you out on, except I found another one. You just wait and see. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, didn't see you, you know, just standing around, do nothing, airing out the old armor, you know, just casually going off. The hope of the fate sworn. Looks like we took a few of the Chaos Eyes from the Chaos Notes, pickled them, and jammed it into a plate armor. It has no restrictions on anything, so you don't have to have any degree of finesse, magic, or what have you. Gives plus one to all abilities, which is nice. Spawns a barrier that blocks all magic attacks once every 30 seconds. Oh. Slows enemy that touch the barrier and makes you immune against the chaos barrier of Telogrus, which is the only really useful thing of this item. And also, I found the cow. So take a look. Where is it? The abyssal ropes. Hmm, looks nice. I think gloves don't really matter. So much for the fashion show. It's time to get on. Ah, God, one hell of an annoying tickle in my throat. I think it's a bit too dry. It is more beautiful than I'd imagined. Understand, it can be worn by anyone. Warrior, mage, rogue. Any who wishes to don the hope of the Fate Swarm may do so. Everything I've heard must be true. You are Fateless. A scion. The beckoned. And more. Now you must take the role of one more hero. Hope of the Fate Sworn. But first, a final test of skill and strength. And this time, you will face my deadliest, most terrible Nisgaru. They are the tyrants of the great chaos nobility. Goodbye. Like we haven't fought enough Oryx. Oh, something else. My quick potion slot broke. It's quite annoying. Oh, praise be to ye, the all-powerful reboot. For you have given me back all that I have sought. My potions of fate, health regeneration, and pretty much everything else we can chuck. Let's see. Oh, that's a bit too soon, but oh, who cares. Oh no! Dramatic combat music! 
against enemies who were way weaker than the ones I had to face during the quest. Out of this, I know I got the health regeneration on. I was wondering, they do absolutely no damage to me whatsoever, which is quite confusing. Ah, there's the barrier of getting hit that slows everything right down. And now, oh, we're done. I thought it would be time for a I reckoning. Can. We have everything we need to face Telogris and win, but we must move quickly. When you're ready, we'll storm the throne. Goodbye. Yes, and I will be ready another time. So as always, bye-bye.